Good morning, America. Um, here in many hopeless Minnesota. Moved out of here about 10 years ago. Chasing the most beautiful creature I'd ever met in my life. I mean, when God made this girl, he was showing off. Kind of glad I'm not here anymore. Heard something real interesting from Rudy Giuliani this morning. He's been following this whole thing on unfolding. Rudy said, you know, I came into a city that had had eight major riots. And during my time, we had some big issues, but we never had one riot. He pointed out the fact that the Minneapolis Police Department is extremely poorly trained. That's kind of evident to all of America after our little video that we had to endure of watching a human being lose his life. To sit there and have to watch Mr. Floyd die with three idiots that's not the killer that sat there and let him kill him. The man was begging for his life. But we're in Minnesota, liberal snowflake Minnesota. I'm with the Hopkins twins. I like the way they covered it. Why didn't somebody step in and help the guy? I would have stepped in. They said I would have stepped in. The one said I'd have hit that Oreo cop, knocked him out, and then went for another one, and they'd have got off him. And yes, they would have. All it would have taken is two or three people to grow a pair and do the right thing. I'm not a camera person. Obviously. If I had this thing set up when I used to do radio, it wasn't so painful for the audience. They could just listen to the content and enjoy it. They didn't have to look at my ugly face. So he pointed out several things that I thought was real interesting. He showed half a dozen different situations in New York. And he said, let me point something out to you. See those crisp white shirts? And there's always one or two in all the videos that they showed. He said, those are not regular police officers. He says, those are captain, lieutenants, and supervisors, investigators. And they're there to watch the police to make sure there's no undue force being used. They're there to police the police. Minneapolis can't police the police. Minneapolis can't even protect their own. They gave up the third precinct. Are you kidding me? You had one job. Out of the whole damn town, you can't protect one precinct. We need to clean house. I saw a post on Twitter this morning that was rather disturbing. Six months ago, six months ago, the Attorney General for Minneapolis, Minnesota, was endorsing an Antifa handbook against radical racism. Wonderful. You endorse these guys, so they come right into your town and burn it down. First sign of trouble. There's your Antifa. And you want to promote Antifa? I liked how Rudy pointed something else out, too. Last night, unfortunately, God forbid, there was 30 cities on fire. I mean major fires, 30 around the country, hmm, 30 cities on fire. You know what, the strange thing about all 30 of them is that they are mayored up by liberal Democrats that favor criminals over law-abiding citizens, any race, okay? They let criminals out of jail? They don't arrest them. They, here in Minnesota, they allowed them to burn the first two nights. Didn't even try to stop it till the nation saw just how stupid they were, and then they brought in the National Guard. So we got a governor that can't get control. He needs to go. Okay, He needs to be out of here. Four days now we've been in upro an uproar. These idiots, I'm watching them last night at 8.30, 9 o'clock. They're not making a move on anybody. This is 8.30, 9 o'clock. Now at 8 o'clock, everybody's supposed to be in their homes. We have a curfew here. 
If you're not going to arrest them on the curfew, you're not going to arrest them for burning. You're not going to arrest them for breaking windows. You're not going to arrest them for looting. So they flock here. And they flock to the liberal Democrats that have non-prosecuting, prosecuting attorneys. Now, I can't name you 30. But I can name you a few that I know about that George Soros put into place. We got Detroit. We got Chicago. We got Philadelphia. We got San Francisco. And those all non-prosecuting, prosecuting attorneys for those cities are bought and paid for by George Soros. Look at Kim. We got uh, Yosei Smollett, our gay actor, another puppet of Soros, fake hate crime. He gets to walk free on 16 felonies. Why? Because Kim, the prosecuting attorney, happened to get a $400,000 campaign fund endorsement from George Soros the summer before. So when his bad actor that he sent in to do a bad fake crime Kind of like Kobe Bryant, somebody right nigger on his gate. And before the police could get there and take a picture of it, he had it painted over. Now, that hate crime was never verified. But I guess he just wasn't getting enough news coverage because he wasn't playing good enough ball. But the fake hate crimes have got to go. That's what's ripping our country apart, all right? And don't be hating on no police. We got 98, 99% of them. They're 110% citizens. They risk their life daily. They put their life on the line, never knowing if they're coming home to their wife or kids. For what? In this in this area, you couldn't pay me enough to be a cop. You got to go out there. Oh, zero training. No supervisor on site. That situation took over twenty minutes. Um, you know it's been terrible the last three or four days. But personally, if this thing shakes out the way I think it's going to, I might be stuck here for a long time. They're targeting people without a state plates, which they should. But I'm in that group. I got Florida plates on a truck that were expired a month ago because of Hat Whitmore over in Michigan won't open up the state offices so I can take care of my paperwork. And believe me, I want to. Because the black one I drove out here to Minnesota, I've got a couple of 06 navigators I picked up down in Florida. Keep me out of the snow this winter and give me something to do. Well, one of them happened to get totaled out as soon as I bought it, and I can't even get paid on it until I get a, a title from Florida transferred into Michigan and I can hand to my insurance company. So I got 5000 bucks sitting out in the driveway and I'm broke. I need the money. So, But Halfwit doesn't care about anything. She just wants to punish anybody that doesn't agree with her. Okay? I don't know how she got voted in. I really don't. I would never vote for her in a hundred years. Um, she's screwing up the state just as bad as anybody. She's handled the virus badly. She's made stupid uh, demands on us. You're going to lock people in their home. but And, and while they're in there, for, you got them locked down now for over two months. And the first month and a half, they couldn't redo their floor. They couldn't replace their carpet. They couldn't paint. They couldn't go outside and garden. Couldn't plant grass seed. Couldn't plant flowers. Couldn't plant vegetables for the kids. You're going to give somebody the coronavirus. I think one of my favorites, though, was no jet skis. Now, how in the Sam hell are you going to give somebody the coronavirus on a jet ski? Keep everybody inside. We find out that the coronavirus dies in less than 10 seconds in the sunlight. Here this whole time, I thought if you're out, and you're walking down the sidewalk, and somebody sneezes or coughs, you got to run, right? No, you don't duck, man. Just give it a little quick juke step, and you're out the way. You're good to go. They're making this thing worse than what it is. They're trying to keep the country shut down. Democrats cannot stand progress. They hate to see Trump succeed. He's going to put us back on track, folks. We're going to come out of this stronger than we were before. I love how he got the DOJ and the FBI in Minneapolis before they could cover up their dirty deeds. Because they done their cheap. You don't get much cheaper in the way this gentleman lost his life. Poor Mr. Floyd. I also appreciate that the president took time out of his day in a country that's in turmoil, in more ways than one, to speak to the family and to express our nation's grief over their loss. I don't believe there's one American that isn't so sad over what happened. 
And we're not going to stop this if we burn things down. But if we do things the right way and get these idiots out of office so that the right decisions are made and it never happens again, you got to get rid of the, number one, the governor needs to get out, okay? He didn't handle this, right? He's an idiot. Chief of police, mayor, governor, they all need to step down. They got a dirty, filthy, rotten swamp here. And if they don't clean it out, unfortunately, this isn't the last time we're going to go through this. There have been people here in Minneapolis killed by the police way too often. Oh, that's right. We're Democratic run. Kind of like the black young man that was shot to death in front of his fiance and her two children over Lake Phelan here two or three, four or five years ago. I don't know. <clears throat> Had a permit to carry. And being this liberal snowflake state that this is, you've got to pretty much be a choir boy to get a permit to carry a concealed weapons permit. Well, you stop for running a stop sign. This wasn't a $20 bill that was fake. This wasn't a fake hundred. Wasn't a bad check. Wasn't none of that crap. It was running a stop sign. And when the officer asked to see his permit to carry a concealed weapon, and he opened up his center console where his permit and his handgun was, the officer opened fire and shot him to death for no reason other than running the stop sign. That's Minnesota, folks. Yeah, the police here are not trained. They're doing their best. I believe their hearts are all in the right spot. But I believe that the Democrats have put the money for the police training into other things like their pockets instead of giving it for the police training. Because there's no training here. If there was... Mr. Floyd would still be with us. One of the two or three idiot cops that got fired with the idiot murderer. You know, I'm not, I'm scared to death that this thing's going to shake out real bad. I'm scared to death that the medical examiner's going to lie just like they did over Jeffrey Epstein's death, which was not a suicide. They're going to say it was not the cop's fault when in fact we all saw he killed him. We watched it. You can't erase that tape. You can't unsee that tape. I wished I'd never seen it. You can't unsee that. They plead down. He's gonna. He might walk with manslaughter, and I'd be about that close to starting to burn stuff down myself. I'd be so mad if they cover this up and they don't give this guy. He needs the chair. All right. I watched the video. He's in Hennepin County. I mentioned yesterday in Hennepin County, they feed you one thing. Bologna sandwich. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No mustard or mayo. Two pieces of bread and a slice of bologna. One slice. Not two or three like you make at home with cheese and a little gray pawn. Nope. You're lucky if the bread's not hard. Because they make them three or four hours in advance and they're sitting on a tray. You know, I don't even want to give him dried out bread and bologna. I think this guy needs to just spend 10, 15 minutes in prayer with our Father and accept him as his Lord and Savior and go home. His time down here is done. He didn't do such a good job. I guess the guy doesn't understand that he might have done a million good things in his life, but as soon as you murder someone, you've kind of wiped the, straight, the slate completely clean, and now you're a murderer. And any good thing you've ever done, nobody ever sees or will remember or needs to remember. What they need to remember is you killed someone. You never need to be in that position again. And whatever, if they go with manslaughter, they need to take the minimum and multiply it by 10 because he had a badge on. Okay? He's given the rest of the good cops a bad name. He needs to pay for that. He needs to pay for it dearly. We got too many men and women to put their life on the line daily for us as the citizens, to fight the dope dealers and the crime and the violence for them to have to wear this. You know, don't put that on the rest of the police. Don't, don't believe that lie that lamestream media would like to push down your throat that all cops are bad. They're not. Most cops are good. 98.5% to 99% are good. You're going to have a bad apple every once in a while. You can't tell me you don't get somebody else's mail. They're bad mailmen. 
They're bad railroad engineers. They've crashed trains before. Sometimes people die. Sometimes people die when they don't get the right mail. You got bad doctors. Sometimes they kill people. And they get sued and they get shut down and they don't get to practice no more. If it's their fault and they were stupid. This guy was his fault. He was stupid, but he should be held to a higher account. That's why in the Bible, it says, I wish that ye not all to be teachers, for ye shall receive a greater judgment. So if you're going to speak and preach the word of God and teach it, you better do it right. Because if you mislead people, you've got a greater judgment. This officer should receive a greater judgment. He should receive the same mercy from the courts that he gave to Mr. Floyd. I don't think I can be any more clear than that. Folks, pray for our country. Pray that uh, Minnesota can maybe shake loose half of their Democrats. At least they would improve themselves by 50%. Because right now all they are is trouble. And, and you've got a, an attorney general that's endorsing Antifa the same radical organization that's funded by George Soros that is now burning down his town. He needs to go, okay? Go to Illinois or wherever they're going to start their next fire, San Francisco, with your Sor with your George Soros buddies, Antifa. Leave town with them, okay? That's the prosecuting attorney. Same position that Amy Korbachev once had, who was running for the Democratic nominee, she also had a chance one time to put this murderer in jail for bad behavior. And Amy Korbachev let him off the hook. Let that be known. These are your liberal, non-prosecuting prosecutors. Amy Korbachev, when she was the attorney general, could have taken this guy's badge and stopped this and prevented this. Mr. Floyd's death is on your head, Amy Korbachev. Folks, I hate to end one like that and wrap it up. Pray for our president. He keeps as diligent as he has. He keeps the right decisions as he has. Pray for our leaders. And please pray to God that we've got an honest corner here, but I sincerely doubt it. When your prosecuting attorney, your mayor, your chief of police, and your governor are all screwing this whole thing up, you know it's going to get, it's it's not looking good, folks. And if they come up half-assed with this, which I feel they're going to, when they're trying to cover their butts, all they're going to do is make it worse. We need transparency and the truth. We don't need you tampering with a crime scene like the police did the night of the crime. If you or I tampered with a crime scene, that's a felony in itself. and We'd be looking at 10 to 15 Removal of a body, that's another 15. If you or I did this, and we're not even talking about the murder aspect, just the way they tampered with the crime scene, they removed the body from the crime scene illegally. 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 Guy's looking at 30 years. We don't need to feed this POS for 30 years. We need to give him 10 minutes with a preacher. Let him give his life to Jesus and send him home. That's more mercy than he gave Mr. Floyd. And that's way more than he deserves. But he needs to go home. Whether or not he wants to accept Jesus, Christ as Lord and Savior, and ask for forgiveness and repent for all of his sins, which only he knows, and God. And God will know whether or not he's true in his heart. And sit him in the chair. Put one between his ears. I'd pull the trigger for that. I can't unsee that video. I wish I could. Folks, thanks for the time. I'm going to quit rambling here. Crash this thing instead of land it today. Have a very blessed day. Keep praying for the Twin Cities. Pray I can get out of here because if things go sideways, I can't pull out Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday when I'd like to because they're harassing the out-of-state drivers so badly. And I don't blame them, but I'm not a part of that garbage. Have a blessed day. Like, share, and subscribe. I've been trying to stay off Facebook because they put me in jail for two months. About three or four 
live sessions ago. I got a Mr. Zuckerberg for the way he was treating the conservatives and the Christians, and next thing you know, I was silenced for two months. But that's Facebook, and this is YouTube. So like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Keep praying for our country. God bless you and our president. See you soon.